Good evening, and welcome once again to Straight from the Sky. I'm your talk show host, Bobit Avila. And tonight, we celebrate 50 golden years with City Savings Bank. They have a slogan. It's a very simple slogan, and simple is good. And yes, if you remember, in the 70s or maybe in the 80s, early 80s, there was a famous radio tagline that said, Pagamay gamay lang, pero City Savings Bank sab kini. And that was a radio ad that keeps ringing on my ears and the late Jotimo Abiliana and I would joke about it when we played golf before na apagamay gamay lang when he wins our, uh, <laughs> our bets in golf. And that's really true. And today we have with us my dear friend Romy Ronquillo is an independent director of City Savings Bank who will bring us back to the future. And back to the future means 50 years of City Savings Bank will give us a story of how City Savings Bank evolved from a small pagamay gamay lang to what it is today. And so we'll be back with Romy Ronquillo after this break. Imagine a new world. A dependable world. An innovative world. A flexible world. A rewarding world. A surprising, exciting, inviting world. A world we know you would expect. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Globe. Let's create a wonderful world. Oh, and dito na tayo. I miss my friends in New York. Me too. Ay, kayo talaga? You're gonna like it here. Trust me. Open their eyes to a world of possibilities. Give them limitless discoveries. Hello? Can I order B in Sport Channel, please? Keep them inspired. Hey, Mom, did I miss the show? Nope. Rewind to na lang. And let them experience life on their own terms. Here, you get what you need to give them what they want. Life with Sky Cable is life the way you want it. They like it here now. Game talaga, Momski. <laughs> Only from the country's biggest digital cable TV provider. Thank you for staying with us. It's really an honor and a pleasure to help celebrate the golden 50 years of City Savings Bank with my dear friend, Romy S. Ronquillo. So, Romy, my good evening. Uh, good, good evening. Well, you know, uh, Don Ramon Aboitis and Chotimo Abiliana, the late Chotimo Abiliana, both of them have gone already, founded uh, this bank in 1965. Why? I was still, I was still in high school. And, well, eventually, 
I grew up and uh, we would play golf with Timo because he played all the way through his older years. And we would always joke to him about Pagamay Kamay Lang. And that is a slogan of City Savings Bike that has kept. And I understand you've got a huge base of uh, what you call uh, teachers who are your deposit. That's, that's how you started. And I'm sure you have so many branches before sa Cibola Right. So now, before we go into, why are you an independent director of city savings? Well, uh, it's a requirement by law that you have three independent directors uh, in a public corporation mm. of which city savings bank. Which is not a public corporation. Well, in, in a way it is. But then again, you also have the Banco Central Filipinas, who has its own regulations, okay. who also demand that you have three independent directors mm. and I am one of three independent directors and uh, you see the the BSP rules and regulations are voluminous <laughs> and quite complex yes it okay? is uh, yes. It, it is it's, it's it's unbelievable but it's something that's needed and that is why I think uh, the Philippines is recognized as a, a safe haven as far as the banking industry is concerned, uh, you know, Purishima just got the an award. An award, and yeah. our governor of the central bank of the Banco Central was named the best central bank banker in Asia. Yes, right. And and because of this, you have these necessary rules and regulations that are quite stringent, but it's for the benefit of the public. Uh, yeah. You know, bank the banking industry. Uh, as from my understanding, is the word trust that's it. very important. Th th that's the most important word, <laughs> yeah. trust. Now, uh, the reason we have these independent directors is because supposedly they do not represent the shareholders. Uh, sorry, they represent the shareholders without having any holdings. Ah, uh, okay. You see? Like, right. for example, I do not have shares in City either savings. Union Bank or City Savings mm. because... If I had, then I, would have, independent. I cannot be an independent director. Mm. So the word independent is exactly what the word independent, how it's defined. Mm. You must be independent in your views, in your opinions. You must voice out. And sometimes, uh, although very seldom, because we've got a very good board, uh, sometimes we, we do argue certain points that we might not agree on as independent directors. And... As an example, as in, in, in the banking industry, uh, we have different uh, committees. Now, by law, an independent director must be the head of the audit committee. Mm. He must be the head of the good governance committee. Okay. Of which, I guess by the grace of the stockholders and by the grace of God, I happen to be the chair of both committees. Okay. And also as an independent <laughs> director, I'm a member of the Risk Management Committee and the Compensation and Remuneration Committee. And the reason that is so is because that way we can look at it, uh, we can look at any aspect of the business uh, with objectivity because we have no vested interest. Ours is purely uh, motivated by what we believe is best for the bank. Well, the fact that 50 years have passed, well, there must be something positive or good that has uh, happened to City Savings. Oh. And uh, they put Romy Ronkiri. Before we go to that, Romy, tell us a little about your, yourself and your involvement with the Aboitis Group. Oh, uh, my involvement with the Aboitis Group? Yeah. Strangely enough, it happened while I was still with working for ESO. I don't know what you remember. I remember ESO. ESO. Yeah, well. Well, it's an oil company. Yes, uh, the okay. big, uh, right now the biggest oil company in the world. Yes. <laughs> well, um, <coughs> you see what happened there at that time? Uh, there was no ESO, there was no mobile. What you had was a company called Standard Vacuum. Yes, Stanback. Stanback. Yes. Well, you're I showing would, your age. I, I was. <laughs> you're showing your <laughs> age. I <laughs> Before there was a bridge in Mactan, we would cross in a ferry to Sandbach. 
Yes. Yes. The, the terminal. <laughs> yes. Yeah, which is now Petron. Yes. Oh. You see, eventually, ESO sold out to Petron. Mm. And that's how I came into a That's budget. how old we are. <laughs> yeah. At any rate, my effort, you asked what my association with the Aboitis was. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, I was, you see, when Standard Vacuum was split, Mobile got the Visayas Mindanao area and ESO got Luzon. Mm. I happened to be in Luzon. So we had what we call the re-entry program, which is for ESO now to establish its flag, its logo in the Visayas Mindanao area. Mm. And fortunately, I was given the task of developing Mindanao. So I had never been to Mindanao. I landed in Davao, and the only person I knew there was June Inigo, who happened to be an old friend from Luzon. And eventually, I got to meet Ernie Aboitis, Manduli Morasa from yeah, they were in Davao was Light. In, in Davao Light. Yeah, 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 yes. yes. And that's how the relationship began. And in 1973, when uh, the management at that time of ESO decided to sell out to government, I did not want to transfer from SSS to GSIS. <laughs> well, that's what I thought was going to happen, yes, it, yes. which did not at happen time, yeah, at that, that time. time. So I quit, and I finally joined the Boitis in 1973. And from then on, well... I retired in 1992. And they resurrected you to be an independent director of CTCDs? Well, I, I they forgot I was retired and I continued <laughs> working until 2000. And, well, now he, here I am in, in City Savings Bank. Well, so now let's talk about City Savings. Uh, what was the goal of Don Ramon? You know, if there is anything that for me that Don Ramon did was create the Don Ramon Abuitis Foundation, which in fairness to Don Eduardo, then Bobby and John made Rafi a byword in Cebu and eventually in the Visayas. And, and Mindanao. And in Mindanao, yeah. yes. And because of that, the word again, trust, comes out. Mm. And helping the lesser, those who have blessed life must be attuned to the mind of Don, Don Ramon to come up with the bank. Well, that's true. Uh, but you see, City Savings uh, started out as a savings and loan association. Yeah, those, the it, it was not a bank. It was not even a rural bank. No, no, it was just <laughs> a bank. And of course, eventually it uh, was founded. And they incorporated into it being a thrift bank, right? And originally, uh, its clientele were not teachers. Mm. You know, uh, it was the general public, uh, for example, more very focused on Carbon, mm. where uh, both uh, Don Ramon and uh, Teotimo knew about this pernicious, uh, you know, five six, five six uh, yes. thing. So, to to help these people, they started giving small loans to these people, uh, get them out of the clutches of the usurers, and then what or how it came to their mind that there was a sector in the public that needed help, which was the teachers. Mm. Uh, and at that time, I guess you might say the teachers were not as well treated or as before. well off as they are now. Yes, they have better pay now than oh, before. Much better. Yes. Bobby, I don't know whether you realize it, but before, the public school teacher would transfer to the private schools. Nowadays, it's, it's the other reverse. way around. <laughs> it's the other it's way the around. Reverse. I heard it, yeah. <laughs> because now the, the private uh, school teachers try to get jobs in the public uh, school sector because they have, well, better paid and, and, and better benefits, right? But still, uh, there seems to be a tremendous need uh, to help these people. Uh, and, well, the, I don't know whether you're aware or the public is aware uh, how much government has put into the educational system. For example, right now, uh, plus or minus a couple of thousand, there are about 630,000 public school teachers. 
right? Yes. 630,000 and growing as the years go by. And City Savings is very fortunate in having about 320, 330,000 of these 620,000. Is that today's figures? Today's figures. Okay. So more than 50% uh, are clients of City Savings Bank. That's a huge chunk, Romy. Yes. And, and it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, call, it, call it a coup. Other banks would be, would be happy to have that, such a clientele in that yes. number. Well, but nowadays we're facing tremendous competition because uh, the, the big banks have gone into that uh, mm. sector as well. But never mind, City yeah. Savings is still a byword and well, it's very important for us to know that it is celebrating its 50 years at this year and we'll be back with Romy Ronquillo after this break. Imagine a new world. A dependable world. An innovative world. flexible world, a rewarding world, a surprising experience.